Hello and welcome to today's video. Today, super quick one. Um, this is one of those things that I love. Uh, when you, you know, you sort of go to one of those like $2 shops like, or like Poundland in the UK or something like that and you find a fountain pen. This was here in Australia uh, at a little shop in regional New South Wales uh, for $2.99. It is by the brand Dats, which is a, uh, you know, a brand that sort of does very, very budget line stationery sort of that uh, appears in a number of these kinds of stores little you know cardboard with your plastic blister pack little fountain pen uh three ink cartridges it says here blue ink plus three ink cartridges so whether there's one in there we'll, we'll, we will see it's got some very basic information on the back of how to like load the cartridge and all of those kinds of things which i think is good but one thing i really actually did uh enjoy was that there's a couple of like a note and a warning here uh, and the note is please allow a bit of time for the ink to flow through the tip of, to the tip of the fountain pen before using and warning always keep your fountain pen in an upright position otherwise the ink may drip or leak now obviously to us sort of well versed fountain pen users that kind of information is standard we know that we go through this um but this kind of pen is not necessarily for us uh, and so for people who haven't had experience with fountain pens or are trying them out for the first time or um, don't even maybe even really know what a fountain pen is when they pick up something like this, uh, you know, you can sort of, uh, you know, a little bit of information like that and a very simple packaging like this, I think is actually a very good idea. So what we're going to do is we're going to open it up, then I'm going to put the ink cartridge in and wait that bit of time uh, for the ink to come down to the nib uh, then we'll do a little writing sample and talk about sort of what uh, what we get for two dollars 99 here and of course there are other brands and you know sh shops and things that have done similar kinds of things talk thinking about like daiso who have pens around the same kind of price point uh, that are actually really really nice uh, so let's uh see what this one is i don't think there's any nice way of removing that car those cardboard backings Ooh, lost a cartridge onto the floor um keep those handy and these extra cartridges. Okay. Nice secure clip uh, click on the cap. And yeah, there's one in here. So four cartridges and this little fountain pen, very shiny steel nib there. Uh, and it's not like a folded nib. It's like a t it is a it seems to be a tipped nib as opposed to like one of those like Schneider style folded uh, nibs. Ooh, that's not doesn't feel like the strongest plastic in the section. As one would expect the uh the the pen body is matte and it's kind of got this like almost sort of rubbery kind of texture to it but it's i think it's just plain plastic uh, so we'll screw that on very simple little feed there uh but it looks okay and actually you know on face value that nib actually looks decent um for the price for the price um very lightweight very you know little textured grip section there which allows for that sort of triangular grip it posts as you would expect the the clip and the uh, top of the pen are the same kind of matte material as the barrel um, yeah so let's wait for this ink to come down there's no cap line or anything like that so we'll wait for the ink to come down and uh, see how it writes well it has been approximately 30 seconds and the pen writes so one thing I will say is there there are pens like the Lamy Safari and some of the pilots and things like that that when you put a cartridge in them it can take hours for the ink to come down this took about 30 seconds so uh here i have just a little uh, penco uh, notebook i'm using the uh, midori notebook here as a backdrop simply because that i'm not in my usual setup and this table's a little bit reflective so it just gives us a bit better experience so i'm gonna so let's do this uh, writing sample and see how it goes Quick writing. I'm going to say straight up, it, there is feedback on the nib, it's not the smoothest, like, 
particularly in that direction. Like that sideways that way, it's not so bad. Right to left, it's pretty scratchy. But up and down, like, it's actually not too bad. It's got reasonably good flow. It's certainly not dry. Um, the blue that it comes with is pretty sort of stock standard, uh, but it's fine. It's probably close to a medium kind of line, I would say. Um, it's certainly not a fine nib. Um, but if you found yourself in, you know, in need of a, of a fountain pen at, you know, short notice and you saw this in a stationery shop, you could get by with it. Like, it kept up with the fast writing. As I said, that was like a minute or so after putting the cartridge in. So the flow down is quite quick. Um, you know, you're not getting a fancy pen. You're not getting a particularly nice looking pen. Um, you know, it's it's okay size wise. It's, you know, bigger than say the, you know, the Pilot V pen there. And, um, you know, it's, it writes, it doesn't write as smoothly as the Pilot, um, but it's also not a recognised fountain pen brand. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this interesting. Uh, please like and subscribe, hit the notifications button and get in touch if there's anything you would like me to review or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, whether they are Visconti, Pilot, or a $2.99 variety store pen, and I'll talk to you soon.